Hi everyone, uh, welcome to campus. Standing here in front of Pickering Hall and uh, because of the pandemic and everything that we're in, we've made some changes to campus. Uh, some different safeguards and, that we put in place uh, across campus, in the hallways, in the classrooms, and in our offices. So we wanted to take you on a tour to highlight some of them so that you can see what it is that we've done, um, what our building and grounds crew and custodians have done all summer to get us ready. So we'll take you on a tour. We'll start off in the Salt Marsh Library. So come on and enjoy it and see what we've got going on. As we continue from the front of Pinkerton Hall and head towards Salt Marsh Library, you can see the, the spaces we have. We have seating outside of the library that we'll be able to take advantage of at different points throughout the day um, and head into the library to see what changes we have that have occurred there. These are distribution and collection areas that for Chromebooks and books that were out last spring and are coming back in now and then we'll be distributing other materials to students throughout the start of the school year. Upon entering the low building, you can see again the signs that we have across campus. They're asking people to stop for our safety of our students and staff to see if they've had any of these before entering. This is where students come in to check in with school counseling. We have added plexiglass in front of the check-in station. In each school counseling office, even though they will, school counselors and students will be more than six feet apart, we have added plexiglass on the desk so that there's an additional barrier between them when they are meeting. Throughout campus, we are required to still have bubblers that are open, but there are some that we are shutting down so that way we do not have more bubblers than necessary. On the third floor of the low building, we have our registrar. And in the registrar's office, we have plexiglass up on each desk so that when they meet with students and families, there's plexiglass separating along with the other health precautions that we are taking. As we are leaving the low building, we are exiting down the stairway, which will be a one-way exit. And then heading from the low building, our path will take us over to the academy building. And as we work on the traffic flow to keep all students headed in one direction to prevent students going across from each other during passing times on campus. Entrance into the academy building and other buildings throughout campus will have one way in and then one way out. Here we are walking into the academy building so that we're able to see different areas in this building. Walking into the Marion L. Pounder CAF in the academy building, you can see that all of the tables have been taken out and replaced by desks. The desks are all in rows that are six feet apart in every direction so that the students will be able to be socially distanced during our lunch times. Um, we'll have four lunch periods during each day. By law, we are required to have 40 water bubbles based on the number of students that we have on campus. So in certain spots, we have been able to take certain water bubblers offline. So in a case like this here, as you can see that there are two side by side. One of them we will continue to use and one of them we will not. While all water bubblers will get additional cleaning throughout the day. In our information technology office, we have added plexiglass to the front. Across campus, we have placed signs that show students and remind them about socially distancing, like this one here. They don't have to be this far away from us, but they would ask them to be six feet apart. In the academy building, science classrooms have had tables and chairs removed so that there are 12 tables and chairs in each classroom, all spaced six feet apart in every direction. As we continue around the side of the science building, head towards the front of the science building, into the main office entrance. You notice that we have uh, spins out in front for students to be able to drop off forms at this time. So that way we do not have them entering into the main office. Welcome to the main office. As you can see, we have plexiglass here in the main office to be able to protect not only our employees, but also our visitors when they come in to check in. 
The main office has had many signs in it, but we also this year have added our signs for thank you for social distancing as a reminder for people. Here is another sign that is a reminder of people to socially distance in all directions, six feet apart from each other. In our junior office in the X Science building, plexiglass has been added in front of the attendance office in a different fashion than in some other offices. During lunch times, we'll be utilizing the Stockbridge Theater in the lobby for additional space for students to be able to take lunch as well as we're walking down the hallway here. This is one path that students will be taking to walk into the area to uh, be able to eat lunch. We have added desks to the lobby of the Stockbridge Theater. This is additional seating for lunch times. When students enter into the field house and they come in, this is the area in which they will be screened by a nurse prior to be either admitted into the health office or sent into team room two. We have a table set up with plexiglass. The nurse will behind, be behind, they will be screened here. Here's the entrance to the health office. After this student or staff member has been screened, they will be going into the health office. Reminders about face masks being worn at all times. And then they must stop and have a pass or be admitted first before going in. In the health office, we have additional plexiglass set up for each station, so as the nurses are able to meet with our students and to go through the symptoms and evaluate them, even in here they are still protected by plexiglass. Uh, and even in the back office where Nora Portnoy, our new head nurse is, we have plexiglass set up around her desk. Here we are in team room two. This is our isolation room. Any student or staff member that has any symptoms of COVID-19 will be directed here after they've been screened prior to uh, going into the health office. They will not enter the health office. They will enter into team room two where they will be put in one of these stalls here. A nurse will come back into the back office and this is where they will gown up so that they will be in full PPE uh, apparel and then come in to, uh, to meet with the student and to go through all the symptoms that they may have. In team room two, each of the um, areas for students to be isolated in, there'll be a cot in there for the student to be able to sit on or lay, depending upon how they are feeling. We will be adding curtains across the front that will be able to see through, but they'll give students privacy um, and they will be removed after each time a student is in there. The Shepherd Auditorium has been converted to a space that we were able to serve lunches and run study halls in as needed. The desks have been placed in here in rows, all facing the same direction, with them all being six feet apart in every direction. In the quad, we have added a couple of tents to create additional outdoor classroom space. After the tents are completed being put up, we'll have desks put on underneath that will be socially distanced, so we'll have an ability for students uh, to partake in classes outside uh, and get some fresh air. Elijah Korshev finished his Eagle Scout project and added the steps into the Memorial Garden. And the space has been cleaned and benches and tables set up so that way students and teachers can come down here for classes. Our Wi-Fi has been extended by our IT department to reach these areas of campus.